What's going on, guys? It is ya boy Beer Gut Plays here, back at it with another episode of the WWE 2K20 for my GM mode. Now, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the content so far. If you guys like the content, you want to see this channel grow, make sure you super kick the like button, comment down below, subscribe to this channel for more wrestling content. Be sure to check out the channel's sponsor for today, W Energy. W Energy, I'll leave the link in the video description below. Use the code BEERGUT at checkout. You will save yourself 10% on your order let me tell you guys i swear by w energy it's in my top three of favorite drinks of all time obviously behind beer and water and w's number three now obviously it's not what you want to hear but you need water to live obviously the channel wouldn't be known as beer gut plays if I didn't enjoy in the adult beverage. But guys, we got an excellent card lineup set for you guys. We're going to get this thing on the road and get this thing started. Now, as you guys can see, the opener, main event, Jey Uso taking on Gunther. It is a non-title matchup for the U.S. title. Freaking Damian Priest is going to be doing battle with Grayson Waller. CM Punk doing battle with Karrion Cross, and in the main event, the WWE Women's Tag Team titles are on the line. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are going to be defending their titles against Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae, and that will be contested in a TLC matchup. Now, that is going to be a hell of a match. Guys, Strap yourselves in, get yourself a cold beverage like I've got, and let's have a fun time, because this is going to be a ball. Drinking Budweiser. Um, it's a so For me, it's a solid, you know, domestic beer. Uh, I, I like Bud. It's all right. I, I prefer other beers, but Bud's a solid go-to. And I'm telling you guys, I am super excited about this whole, this whole paper or this whole matchup. I I feel like Jey Uso and Gunther are probably going to be stealing the card on this one. But that women's TLC is severely underrated in my opinion. We're going to get this show rolling. We've got over 2 million fans watching us. I can't say that I'm surprised, but Jey Uso, Gunther leading things off. Let me tell you, this is going to be one of the best matches on the card. And obviously, it has been a season-long feud between these two. Jey Uso, former multiple-time United States champion, Gunther, a former multiple-time United States champion on the red brand. Now, with WrestleMania only being a couple weeks away, who do you think comes out with that title? Sound off in the comments what you think. I've already got the card lined up. I've got the, the, the gameplay recorded, obviously. No spoilers, but you guys are in for a fan fantastic Wrestlemania let me tell you and your boy might actually whip out the Wrestlemania jacket to go with the whole the whole card it's gonna be a solid solid wrestling event though and honestly I, I can't wait for season two because I am having a ball doing this Mm. Now, we're going to have some great, we're going to have some great matches. We're going to have some, some really cool stuff going on. Uh, I, it'll wait till the end of the video. Not that big of a deal. 
And then the United States champion, leader of Imperium, Gunther, on his way to the ring. Now, I do want to post a snippet of the... Uh, 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 when Gunther... Uh, a couple weeks ago on Raw, or was it last week? Y you know, your boy has been working long hours as of late and trying to pump out as much content as I can for this. And unfortunately, I fell asleep during Monday Night Raw. I did see the clip. It was hilarious. I did post a little short on it. I'll post it in the top right-hand corner right here. Um, I'm excited about this. Now, this particular episode will be dropping on Thursday, so... Unfortunately, uh, the start of the week, Sunday, Mon um, Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, I'm recording this Tuesday evening, um, I was feeling a little under the weather, and I wouldn't say under the weather, I was just butt tired, I was exhausted, so we're going to do our best, we're trying to, to get caught up, I'm almost there. We're going we're gonna to have a lot of fun, though. This is going to be a great time. The opener has started. The referee has rung the bell. Jay Uso got countered and hit with a short arm clothesline by Gunther. Gunther misses that knee drop, though. Can't quite hit the super kick on the much larger Gunther. Gunther has got a hold of Jay Uso and drops him over the top rope with snake eyes. Suicide dive by Jay Uso, and these two starting to brawl out on the outside of the ring. And Gunther getting up on his knee. The DDT, and Gunther is planted and teeing off, and a spine buster by main event Jey Uso. Flapjack, and it busts Gunther wide open. Jey Uso is out for blood after this man has injured him in the past, and Jey Uso going to the top rope, hits the splash, the Uso splash. And only enough for a two count. There we go. And you see the little blood droplets in the ring. Gunther cannot get control of Jey Uso. Oh, Gunther with the counter with the elbow to the back of the head. And Jey Uso, slippery than a devil, gets out of that and stomps on the leg. What is Jey Uso thinking? He is taunting Gunther, the much larger individual in the ring. And Jey Uso teeing off and a flapjack already hitting that busted open area. And Gunther with a neck breaker on Jey Uso. Jey Uso with that kick to the face, really working on that face area. And hits the 1D on Gunther, hooks the leg. Gunther is defeated by Jey Uso. That was a solid opening matchup. I believe that could have been match of the night contender. Sound off in the comments what y'all think. Trying to reach for a beer. Three stars, okay. Jay Uso has a big time opening victory. JD McDonough, and now it is Damian Priest taking on Grayson Waller. Remember, for the past few weeks, Damian Priest has been running rough shot. He took out Austin Theory. Austin Theory is out via injury right now. So who steps up in his place? Grayson Waller. I guess they really are best friends. <laughs> by the guys, by the way, guys, be sure to check out the series playlist. I'm going to leave it posted in the top right hand corner right here. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking that out if you want to see the beginning episode to where we are currently. 
we're having a lot of fun over on this thing it has been great so far by the way getting close to 500 subscribers you know for a, a guy who didn't really take this I don't want to say seriously but only took this as a hobby just as a way to kind of get my creative outlet out there it's really cool to see now granted I've branched off into a lot of different content which you will see at the end of this video but we have had a great time with this thing so far so I definitely recommend you if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel doesn't cost you anything just second of your time if you like what I do you enjoy the various stuff that I have been doing on this channel and definitely recommend if you enjoy wrestling be sure to stick to this content or subscribe to this channel Grayson Waller on his way to the ring looking to get vengeance for his tag team partner Austin Theory now I wish again this might be wishful thinking I understand that the the roster isn't outdated so much as it is like Theory and Waller are a tag team I wish you had the ability to, to or they would have update when they updated they would have put their tag team entrance in now there is still one more DLC that's gonna drop I don't know if that's gonna happen I believe it actually dropped today if I'm not mistaken and like I said recording on Tuesday these two cannot get off together and Damian Priest drops him right on his neck. Damian Priest, high risk, high reward with the with the flipping plancha on the outside. And now Damian Priest in complete control, looking like a savage, just destroying Grayson Waller. He's looking to continue his reign of destruction. And now here we go. Super kick by Damian Priest. They lock up Austin Theory with the kick. And Damian Priest reverses the Irish whip and a pancake drop. Damian Priest got him up. Tombstone slam and hooks that leg. Is it going to be enough? Grayson Waller got that shoulder up at two and a half and now Damian Priest looking to get the south of heaven choke slam but Austin or Austin Derry Grayson Waller slippier more slipper than a devil there we go got him hits that super kick again And my goodness, got him up, drops him across the neck, no sell by Grayson Waller, uh oh, the flap, the jumping flatliner, who better than Canyon baby, oh my god, Damian Priest cannot put away a Grayson Waller to save his life. Is he going to be able to do it this time? Got it. Oh, no. Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge. Got him up and puts him down, Chico, and hooks the leg. That is a three count. Damian Priest, victorious in utter domination. That was a great matchup. Now, I don't know if the, the rating system is going to be as good to us as I think it should be, but a two, okay. I feel like that's somewhat fair. Shayna Baszler, who was a late season addition. CM Punk taking on Karrion Cross, Non-title match, but 
it should be good. CM Punk, since returning from injury, which is his second injury, is looking to continue this long reign past WrestleMania. Boy, do we have some surprises in the upcoming weeks. This is going to be a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. Punk. Now, I got to admit, I was... I wouldn't say I was a, I'm a punk hater. I was... In, like, 2008 to, to 2000... Like, 12, 13-ish. I was a, a huge punk fan. I did not... Again, again... Did not like the way he left the company... It, it, it is what it is. I understand, especially pay, when it comes to, like, payment and everything. Um, I understand, but I just was not a fan of it. But ever since he came back, I did not... Uh, look, and I'll say this out and out. I did not enjoy his AEW run. I thought it was just garbage. I thought it was terrible. I wouldn't say terrible. That that debut moment was cool. Him winning the world title for the first time was cool. Him and Darby Allen was a great match. Him versus Dax Harwood was a great match. It's just there was a lot more bad than good. Now that Punk's come back, yes, we had the injury. But that feud, the feud with Drew McIntyre has been golden so far. I'm actually excited for their, their bad blood matchup. I think it is going to be... An epic encounter. Hell, that the the strap match was great. So I, I I I've enjoyed his return to WWE so far. The return was cool, all that stuff. But now on his way to the ring, Karrion Cross, former world heavyweight champion. And again, guys, I've I know I've been promising this for the longest time. It's coming. I am going to show you my home office. I got to do a little bit more organizing. I got to do a little bit more cleaning. I wouldn't say cleaning, but I got to I got to get some some stuff straightened out. I got to get some stuff on the walls. Uh, it is finally starting to come together though. I actually put in a lot of time in this thing, about 3-4 years. I did, well, probably more than three, four years, but I think it's come out really good. I think it's going to look great. I, I just, I've been busting my butt on it, and it's been, hasn't been great. So, last Budweiser of the night, I got a little bit left in the can. And Cross looking for revenge ever since he lost that World Heavyweight Championship. He has not been the same. Honestly, I can't even get mad at him. It, it, he wants that title back. He, you know, he feels like he never lost it justly. I don't know if that's a word, but meh. You didn't come to this channel to get an English lesson or a grammar lesson. You came here to, to, to watch some wrestling and have a few brewskis. Here we go. The bell is rung. Punk starts out with the kick. Hits another kick. Carrying Cross is down. Carrying Cross is stumbling so far. They lock up. T Bone Suplex. And Punk telling Cross to get to his feet. Misses the dive. Cross moves out of the way. And now that is the opening that Cross needed, but he cannot capitalize as Punk reverses the Irish whip. Hits that elbow drop. Punk gets back in the ring. Punk going top rope. 
Hits the crossbody to the outside. Punk is in absolute command right here. And now Cross is in the ring. What is Punk going to do? Kicks and hits the boot to the face of Karrion Cross. Hits that running kick. And now Punk going top rope. Tribute to the Macho Man, Randy Savage hits the elbow drop and goes for the cover. Not enough to put away Karrion Cross. And now Punk is calling for it. He is looking for the go to sleep. Has got him up on his shoulders. Hits it. And Punk is going to hook that leg. Is it going to be enough to put away Cross? Yes, it is. CM Punk is victorious. I feel like that was a good match. Um, I know I clipped a lot out of it, like I always do. Um, and I recorded this weeks ago. I, I'm, that's part of the reason why I, I sound so surprised. Because I don't remember. But I recorded this weeks ago. And honestly, I don't remember much about it. But I'm feel I was thinking at first this was going to be a throwaway Monday Night Raw just to kind of get back into the swing of things. Nope, we are in full swing, baby. Two and a half stars. Wow, for a, a, a four a level four feud. Jesus, I must have been positioned in the card. But how can you not put this on the main event? Women's title TLC match. How can you not put that in the middle of the card? Or at the top of the card? We're just going to put that somewhere in the middle of the card? No. But on their way to the ring is the tag team champions. Piper Niven and Miss Chelsea Green. I got to say, the the... I was so, and this was months ago, I was so pulling for Chelsea Green to win the money in the bank. I was hoping she'd come pull it out and and be Miss Money in the Bank. I'm not mad at who actually won it, which was, shoot, who did win it? God. I, I don't even remember, but it was Tiffany, Tiffy Stratton. Which I'm fine with that. That that I like Tiffany. And being that she's currently partnered with Nia and Nia's the women's champion, it makes the most sense, but gosh darn it. I, I wish we would have had a much a better women's title. Women are I don't know, it it, it was just bad. They could have capitalized on, on her winning that title. What the, what the hell do I know? I am just some dumbass wrestling fan. And Indy Hart Hartwell, I almost called her India. I always want to do that, and I don't know why. I think she's on, and. Old guy got a got a TikTok. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. I I don't ever post anything on it, so I definitely <laughs> sub. I think it's linked off in my channel bio. But I I stumbled across her TikTok, and Jesus, she's she's a big Lego head. That that's fine by me because my generation grew up playing with Legos. I I, I remember having the big old bucket of of uh, Legos. It's insane. But now, Candice LeRae on her way to the ring. Say hello to Mrs. Wrestling. And she is fired up. Honestly, I, I feel like this is might have been one of the stronger points of the beer gut, my GM 2.0. And the reason why I say that is because I honestly felt like, you know, she they had the the feud for the whole year pretty much. They these four women were beefing 
for the whole for the whole first season. Honestly, that that's great in it all in its own, but we had some banger matches, man. And this is going to be another one. I can already tell you, this is going to be another great women's tag team title match. You know, for what is essentially known as the throwaway title in WWE, it, there's been some great matches between these four girls. And I think this might be their second main event on the whole thing. They're going to get this thing started. Chelsea Green starting with the firing of that. And Indy Hartwell whipped into the corner. Piper Niven takes down Candice LeRae. That was a weird looking thing. Now Chelsea Green has her hair pulled. And now Indy Hartwell rolling outside, giving chase to Chelsea Green. And she's going to grab a chair from the outside. What is little Miss Chelsea Green thinking here? Leans that thing. Oh. Chelsea Green with the neck breaker in the back of Indy's head hits the chair. That is giving me pains in the back of the head. These four women have been absolutely destructive to each other as Indy Hartwell hits Piper Niven with the clothesline to the back of the head, the forearm, whatever we're going to call it. Oh, whoa, Candice LeRae and the Russian leg sweep. Piper Niven is setting up the ladder. Oh, the sleeper hold. Who would have thought it? And Piper... Piper's distracted and gets taken down by little five feet of fury. Candice LeRae hits the DDT on Piper. And now Indy. Oh, Indy. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Candice, I'm sorry. Candice LeRae running defense right now. What we needed. One more and we get the belt. Oh, crap. There we go. New women's tag team champions. Indy Hartwell and, and I almost called her Piper Niven. Candice LeRae. What a solid main event to this show. I cannot believe we are actually. I'm going to take a look what the rating was. Fair. I feel like that was fair. Thank you. And now we're going to see what SmackDown does. Do not care. Although, Rikishi and X-Pac kind of interest me. I don't know why, other than I'm a big Attitude Era fan. Obviously, I started watching around that time, so that is dirt one of my favorite times to be a wrestling fan. That could be a sleeper good match. Um, Natty and China. Now, it was an interesting tag team match, but... I feel mm, X-Pac and... Okay. Becky Lynch and Bailey. BBL Bailey. Love it, by the way. Did we act... Okay. Not necessarily. It was about a tied show between the two brands. 158K, 207K. We're back to second place. One week until WrestleMania. Roman Reigns... I'm going to give what Roman Reigns what he wants. He deserves it. Piper Niven. We're going to give her what she wants here. Why? Happy happy roster. I don't know why. Here we go. We're going to set next week's card, and then we're going to get the heck up out of here. Uh, I haven't used that Forged in Fire card. I don't know what it does, but... All right, we're going to start set up the opener. Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. Uh, GM interference on Roman Reigns. So we're not going to play that. Oh, that's the main event. Holy shit. We're starting with the main event. We're setting the main event. Gunther's going to call out Uso. 
Hmm. Tag team. Okay. That I believe that's going to be changed to a tag team title match. No, we're not going to do a run-in. Why would we do that? It's going to change. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Um, advertising. Jey Uso. Because I need that money. Need that money, money. All right. And, oh, Shayna. Uh, sorry about that. We're going to do two run-ins before the pay-per-view. Charlotte's going to attack us. And... Piper Niven. No. I think they're I think we're gonna start with a tag team match to to get this thing on the road. Yep. And then set the last one. Yep, that sounds about right. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Now, I do apologize. I haven't uploaded in a few days outside of shorts and stuff like that. Um, I have been sick, getting a little better. But due to my sickness and just not having enough time, the college football temple dynasty has been uh, – Will not be scheduled for this week. I do apologize. By the time this drops, the Madden live stream will have gone live. Um, so I do apologize. But guys, be sure to check out the other content on this channel. Like I mentioned, the Temple 25, College 25 Dynasty. It'll be posted in one of these four corners that you see. Um, the NASCAR, the game inside line, that'll be posted somewhere in one of these four corners. NASCAR Heat 5 live stream, that actually will not be airing this week due to the Bristol night race. So we're taking a week off from that. We will pick it up next week. Um, and then also the Madden 25 live stream, which I mentioned, uh, I'll leave it posted somewhere in these four corners. Guys, I got to get out of here. Hopefully y'all have a great day, a great evening. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hope to see y'all in the next video and peace out, my friends.